Hello there, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and here I have a $20 Canadian jewelry jar. The typical jar this time, not a plastic container. And I grabbed it because you've probably heard me be moaning the fact that jewelry jars are few and far between, and then I found one, and now I found another one, so I better grab it and see what I can do with it. There's some, I assume, a stretchy bracelet. There's these interesting huge metal beads here. Kind of, I don't know if they're what they're off of or meant to go with. That's an interesting looking earring. There's some tassels, some bright pink beads that are interesting. Um, that looks like feather. And I don't know what that is. It looks like it could be a, oh, a cat upside down. Here, let me turn it around. What did I do? Where did it go? Where did we lose the cat? There's a cat. Oh boy. I know my granddaughter would love that. And I saw this uh, doesn't have the flash like um, tiger eye. So it might be um, what they call mahogany jasper, but we'll have to see some faux pearls, some stringy stuff. So a lot of variety. Can't wait to get this open. And uh, as I said, $19.99 less the senior's discount, which is only 10%. But hey, every 10% helps. And thumbs up. So that great thumbs up, that was from my hubby who just fixed something. And it wasn't the hub, thumbs up because I was doing a... Um, a jewelry video with thumbs up because he fixed it. Anyway, um, so this little bit that came out of the top of the jar that stuck to it, there's this nice sort of brush gold tone bracelet. It's got some, I don't know, maybe nail polish stuck to it, but that should come off pretty easily. And a uh, nice shiny inside. Doesn't look like it's been worn. And maybe it just got spilled on and never worn. There's no mark, no maker's mark. That's a nice, a nice uh, bangle. What else have we got? Oh, a cute little, um, oh, I guess that one's broken. A cute little uh, macrame bracelet, which had some, I think these are polymer flowers, but this one's broken. It could be taken off, I think, quite easily. Um, or they can all be taken apart and repurposed. Just, that's interesting how they're made. And then there's this lovely little, oh, cute little butterfly stretchy, a necklace for a young girl put that in like a kids pile I'll start a kids pile there's something else with uh, um, let's see so this is macrame and you get this twisted just uh, or this spiral effect by doing the uh, larks the the macrame knot in the same direction all the time this is really nicely done nice and oh nice and tight come on there focus really well done I don't know what these beads are they almost feel like well they could be ceramic I was gonna say they feel kind of like plastic but this one in the center doesn't sound like plastic so maybe it is glass and there's some out there on the uh, ends. Put that in the kid stuff. Oh, that's this is goes in the repair pile. I guess I'll put the repair pile over there. That has to go in the repair pile. Look at this huge cuff. Ah, oh, great! Wonder Woman can deflect bullets with this. Um, I'm just looking inside. I don't see any marks and it looks to be in excellent shape just needs a little cleaning wow that's a really nice cuff and definitely a cuff let's see where that's the good the good stuff oh then we have something with a tag this is all just what's stuck to the um the tape at the top of the jar so napier a napier necklace Oh, I've got some beads like this. I've got some Napier jewelry like this. Okay. So this um, thing with the acrylic beads on it is a candle wreath. 
and there are two necklaces tangled so I hope you don't mind I'll just uh, undo this one that has the spring ring see if I can gently pull it out it might possibly be silver and I would hate to uh... gosh I mean how do these things get tangled people don't I don't think they usually put necklace or candle rings in the jewelry box but maybe they just tossed a bunch of stuff in a box to donate okay through the hole there's a nice little uh, shiny possibly crystal pendant on this a little bit more and i think we'll have it out in around there there we go okay so there's the the candle wreath those could be uh, taken apart and repurposed in uh, tree decorations at Christmas time. Alrighty, so let's go back to the Napier necklace. This is a Napier necklace with a lobster claw clasp, well worn. And it's um, beads that slide on this chain. I have earrings that match those beads. And a necklace that matches those beads. So I wonder if it's from the same time period. I don't think my necklace has a lobster claw clasp, though. This is very well worn. This looks like uh, the kind of Napier that was on sale at Kmart when Kmart was still in Canada. Like 30 years ago, maybe. I don't know. So these beads are worth keeping. I don't know if this will clean up. I'll have to see. So I'll put that in the to-be-cleaned pile. Well, that all has to be cleaned. I guess we'll put it with... Oh, whoops. Okay, so here's the, um, the little crystal, really shiny crystal pendant that I dropped off of the... Uh, how come? doesn't want to focus. I dropped it off the chain by mistake. And here's the chain. I don't see any markings that would uh, indicate that it's precious metal. And we'll look once on this side. I don't see anything there. So uh, I think I'll clean these both up and keep them separate because I think that uh, this could deserve a nice, nicer chain. All right, so that's the top of the jar. Here's something else just spilling. Oh, gosh, this is heavy. This is, this is like the five ounce brass belt buckle. Is that ever heavy? I mean, it's pretty. Look at, I mean, they're, they've got to be um, not aluminum, I was going to say. They've, they're, they're, they're too heavy to be aluminum. So I wonder what kind of metal it's made out of. Um, I should have my magnet here. Just a second. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Buy it. Oh. Well, it's not this other chain. This other chain that I didn't think was silver is the only part that's not attached to the magnet is the clasp. All right, what's going on here with my magnet? The Napier one. Magnet, are you not working anymore? What have I got that I can test my magnet on? Here's a, see, a here's something from a, yeah, see, my magnet works just fine. All right, so why are these things not attracted to the magnet? How about this? This, uh, I put this on here. Is it going to stay? No. All right, curious here and curious here. I'm not sure. That doesn't really tell me anything except that they're not attracted to the magnet. But this is really gorgeous. It's got rhinestones in the center of each flower. Let's turn it inside out. I mean, obviously, it was a stretchy bracelet. I don't see any maker's mark. And 
and uh, it's in excellent shape. I kind of like that. I think I would probably wear it, though it's a little heavy, and I have so many bracelets. I'm not sure what to do with that. I wish I could find somebody who would love that. That would be uh, the best purpose for it. Um, and here we have some lightweight faux pearls. This is <laughs> very much like the, whoops, oh, and I broke it already. Okay. Maybe that's why somebody got rid of it because this little ring here is too loose. I'll stick that back. there close that up there we go okay so this looks very much like the Claire's necklace that was new on card that I had um last jewelry jar so this one is okay so can't really see it but I've actually doubled it so it's in four sections so 13 and a half times 4 26 52 53 inches huge but wearable it'll go in the, the wearable jewelry and then here's something oh this is in its little package DK jewels this is interesting and it's three bracelets, three, three very sparkly bracelets. The first, this, the first one is silver and black. The second one is black. They're very lightweight. And the third one is silver. So a nice little set that you can wear. And they have, um, they're like memory wire with little rhinestones on the end. And they just go on like that. Just slip on. Great. Oh, very nice. Hmm. There's bling when you need it. Jewelry, DK Jewels, jewelry with passion. Well, that would be worth regifting. They're a little scratchy because they're rough. Not sure how to clean those. Oh, just what I need. Another candle wreath. Candle uh, ring. Well, I got a pair now. So, I can just, as if I need those. I don't. Okay, now these are long and they're kind of matching and I'm going to try to pull whoops, both of them out. As I said, they're kind of matching. So this, what is this? This feels like, I was going to say it feels like shell, but it also kind of feels like metal. No, it must be shell. So here's a long green necklace with the shell, the blue, bluey green. That was the, uh, me getting rid of the tape. So yeah, 48, maybe 52. Yeah, 52. So we're down here at the, there at the end. So 52 for that. And then here's a black and sort of silver, almost black and gold looking on the the way these flash in, in the uh, camera. So a second one identical to it. Those are quite nice, very wearable. Great summer jewelry, great, um, tra you know, in probably inexpensive travel jewelry to take with you if you're going uh, um, like on a beach vacation and you want something to wear, but if you lose it, it doesn't really matter. So those will need to be washed. And then we have these and there are more of them. These are huge, giant, they're finger beads, if you want to just. Um, I, 
almost feels like a, like a plastic center and a metal outside and it's hollow in between. That's not... So, there's more of them in there. Let's see if I can get them. Okay, so there's... This looks like it uh, goes on a slide. Somebody tied them together. So there's two, two rings and a necklace slide, two rings and a, a round bead, and two more round beads. This is kind of cool because I was looking for some things to go with my Viking knit. They're the wrong color. I'd have to make... Um, uh, I have lots of copper stuff that needs pendants and sliders and stuff, but uh, those will be useful. That's really cool. I've never found anything like that in a jewelry jar. I don't know. If you if you know what their purpose is or what their previous life might have been, let me know because all I can see is you put them on a big heavy cord. That's you know, the simplest answer or sometimes the... The best one and here is another stretchy bracelet be careful i don't lose it they're okay this one's i have a uh, it's i don't know it, it fits nicely there aren't really there's kind of a gap i don't like when they do that so a smaller wrist would be better but it's heavy it's nice acrylic beads just needs cleaning and then there's a watch now is that watch got did it get water in it is that why it's that weird color inside or is it supposed to look like that um stainless steel back quartz movement oh well we'll have to see if it if it'll run with the battery and here is this is plastic for sure these could be metal that feels like very light metal. It's, I don't know, a purse charm. Definitely be, it'll be, definitely be repurposed. And this is, it's got string on it. I think this is supposed to be something for a necklace, maybe? like have a lobster claw goes through there and it hangs so it's a charm you add to a necklace I don't know there's it's very good condition it looks like it's never been used it's just needs to be cleaned and then ooh, this is big here's this uh, stone stretchy that I saw from outside the jar and I'm trying to decide what kind of stones those are. Like some of these, that one looks like it's got the flash of uh, tiger eye. Are these just, uh, that one has the flash. That one, sorry, that one there has a flash. So I wonder if these are just low quality tiger eye chips. They're more, oh yeah, on the camera you can see more of them have flashes, but that one's just black. And it's definitely broken. There's, oh yeah. Ah, starting to lose beads. Okay, so I'm going to find a bag for it because I don't want little tiny bits of my garage all over the table. Sorry for the noise. Hope you're all having a great day. It was uh, a cool day here, only up to 20 Celsius, um, which is very comfortable. The sun shining, but we're supposed to be getting rain. So this needs to be repaired. It'll, um, if it, I'll probably take it apart. Oh. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. I've been out so a lobster claw clasp and no extender yay but it's got a nice little pearl shape on the end and these look like they could be yeah i think these are freshwater pearls they're they have a gritty texture 
they have the right shape for freshwater pearls. Now that I now that I dropped it or now that I picked it up, I messed it all up here. So there's a lovely little dangle in the center. Okay, so there's the dangle in the center. And here's the necklace with the pearls. That's very nice, very wearable. I think I'm going to give up on this magnet. It doesn't seem to be attracted to anything. I don't think it's silver, but let's look at it. There's a, there's something. It's either a scratch. Yeah, I think those are scratches. I don't think there's. Well, it's just textured. And the only other place it would be marked would be here on the. Oh. Well, there's something. Oh, it does say 925. Here, let me zoom in. Here I am doubting the magnet. But if you look there, there it says 925 on the clasp. So that could explain why this is not um, attracted to the magnet. Let me go back out. All right. So possibly silver, that'll have to be tested. Now I need a test pile over by the kids' jewelry, I guess. And here's a cute little stretchy, very lightweight. It's got some, I was gonna say that's some sequins, but no, they're just all little, nice little seed beads. I'll put that in the kids' stuff. And I'll put my glasses on so I can see what it is I'm pulling out of this jar. Okay, so this is, uh, well, it could be could be real leather. It's got that black coating on it, and just a a pendant. Aluminum, perhaps. Okay, and another. Oh, this another stretchy bracelet, or not stretchy, another adjustable bracelet, kind of like the other one that I couldn't, it, like the pink one, where I couldn't tell exactly what these were made of, if they're glass or whatever. And then, oh, just what everyone needs. IST band accessory, a replacement. These look like um, some of the original Fitbits with the Fitbit replacement bands. So I have to see if I, I have a Fitbit Flex that I got out of a jar that works perfectly, has a kind of yucky band. So these look like Possibly new bands of every color. And a another bracelet. This looks like a symbol for something. I should know what it is. I don't know if that's juvenile diabetes. Anyway, I can, I'll look it up. It's a paracord bracelet. Um... Paracord bracelets first took off sort of from the um, the outdoor extremes extremist challenge. Supposedly you would have like, I don't know how many feet, but so many feet of paracord could save your life if you wore it. So you, it was all entwined into a bracelet that then if you were wearing it out in the, in the wilderness and you got lost, you could take it apart. You could use it to tie things up you could use it to make snares you could do all kinds of things with it and now paracord braces are everywhere and nobody knows what they would do with them so that's interesting um, probably obviously a fundraiser fundraiser for some sort of for some organization 
and two things in one here. I got a, a pin that's captured. Oh, that's kind of cute. A pin tied up with a bow. So here's my heart tied up with a bow. And there probably should be a little rhinestone in the middle there. Um, is there a mark there? Or is it just a dent? How come I can't focus it? Ah, just a dent. Okay. So that's a cute little pin. There we go. Yeah, I think there should be a rhinestone in there. That's a, something I can do if I want to. So that'll go in the fix pile. Here is an N engraved on a disc. This looks very much like sterling. I think this is where I'm going to end off because that's a, a single earring. Stella and Dot. Hmm. Well, I don't know about this. I don't really see anything on the clasp, but it has that tarnishing that really, unless it's supposed to be a gold tone in this tarnish, let's see what happens with the magnet. Okay, I think my magnet is a dud because surely that earring would be picked up by a magnet. Oh, that's the one that is potentially silver. Is my magnet not picking up anything? Oh no, there it goes. My magnet's picking that up. Alrighty, maybe... Oh, I don't know. So a Stellan Dot initial necklace. Beautifully engraved with the N. And I'm going to stop there because there's a huge amount of the jar left to go. See, we just kind of got down below the neck. And uh, I'll say thanks for watching. Um, tell your friends. I hope uh, that you'll subscribe or come back again and watch. And I'll see you with probably the next one third of the jar. Um, or maybe more. Or maybe less. Maybe we'll be able to finish in another half an hour. Bye for now.